Well, the Royal Advantage is really encapsulating all that Royal Caribbean has stood for during its 40-year history, but taking it to a new level. A lot of it has to do with our commitment to continuous improvement. We just never stop trying to make the experience better. That ongoing commitment includes the revitalization of nearly two-thirds of the fleet during the next few years. Five ships were revitalized in 2011. Next is Rhapsody of the Seas, the latest example of the Royal Advantage, making the experience for her guests and her crew even better than before. Well, Rhapsody's special ship in our fleet has been for a long time, doing a wonderful service, of course, in both Alaska and Australia. She definitely deserves a revitalization. We're going to be very proud of her, no doubt, and I'm sure all the people who work on her will be even more proud to be serving there than they, they already are. One of the most spectacular transformations on Rhapsody is to the Centrum. Every night of the week, there will be these pop-up experiences for guests with unbelievable music and unbelievable choreography and unique flying experiences with apparatus that's designed just for Royal Caribbean. The Centrum has become a vertical theater, and we are adding uh, aerial performers uh, into that space. Now bringing it out into the Centrum right with literally within an arm reach of the guests standing on the decks watching and the, we have 62 feet of height in here so that being able to span the five decks and really encompass everyone in the entertainment value is going to be amazing. We're touching every part of the ship so if we start with the staterooms themselves the entire interior of the room will be completely redone. So whether it's the carpeting or the drapes or the sofa, the chair, the waste basket, the, the coffee table, every single bathroom is gonna be completely replaced. So essentially the guests will be walking into this stunning brand new stateroom. And then when I think broader about that, the general public areas will certainly be refreshed. And one of the areas I'm, I'm particularly excited about is with the Viking Crown Lounge with a, a whole new design package and decor that's been very updated. We also will be introducing the Park Cafe, and we know that that Kumovec sandwich is a guest favorite. Rhapsody will also feature Chops Grill, Royal Caribbean's well-known American steakhouse, Giovanni's Table, a family-style Italian restaurant, Izumi, featuring Asian cuisine, the new R Bar in the Centrum, and proudly serving Starbucks coffee in latitudes. Other elements of the revitalization include an outdoor movie screen on the completely revitalized pool deck, a Royal Babies and Tots nursery, a Diamond Club, a Concierge Club, a digital wayfinder system, flat screen TVs in the staterooms, pervasive Wi-Fi, electronic mustering, and iPads in every stateroom. To get a facelift of this magnitude, to, to take your home, that is also where you work, and lift it up in the eyes of the customers who are there is special. Well, I think the crew of the Rhapsody of the Seas is going to have, uh, have a lot to look forward to and we're all really excited about how she's going to look when she comes out. But even with all of the changes, one very important thing will remain the same. Our gold anchor service. The bottom line for 40 years has been and continues to be the men and women that provide a level of service that's second to none. I'm really proud to uh, work with people like that and I'm really proud of the service levels that they give our guests. That's really what it's all about. It's that we just never stop pushing ourselves to make the experience better for our guests and delivering the wow to them in memorable ways that they'll probably talk about for the rest of their lives.